Welcome back to this video lecture series on data structure and algorithms. So today our lesson is priority queue. So basically priority queue is an extension to the queue data structure which follows some certain characteristics. So let's have a look at those first. So the very first point states that every element has a priority associated with it in the priority queue. So it's not only about the data but also about the priority. An element with a higher priority gets dequeued before an element with lesser priority. And if two element in priority queue happens to have the same priority, then they are served according to their order in the queue, abiding by the FIFO principle. That is first in, first out. These are the main characteristics of the priority queue. Moving on, uh, we mainly have two types of priority queues. One is max priority queue, another is min priority queue. In max priority queue, the elements are inserted in the order in which they arrive and all always the maximum value is removed from the queue first. And the case with the minimum or min priority queue is that this is same as the max priority queue, but the minimum element in the queue is always removed first. So these were the theoretical aspects of this. Now, before moving on to the implementation part, uh, the first thing that is to be stated here is that we can implement this priority queue using various data structures like array, linked list and heap. So different kind of time complexities are incorporated with these different kind of data structures. But whatever we use, the main three operations that are to be performed on priority queue are first one is the insert here, simply not the data will be inserted in the priority queue but also along with the data, the priority will also be inserted in the priority queue and the insertions will be done according to their priority. The next function will be the get highest priority, which will return the element with highest priority and delete highest priority, which will delete the element with highest priority from the queue. Lastly, let us have a look on the applications of priority queue. So we can use priority queue for various purposes like CPU scheduling, Next comes uh, the data structure and algorithm parts like we can use the priority queue in various graph algorithms like Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm or Prim's minimum spanning tree. And for obvious reasons, all the queue applications where priority is involved or incorporated, we can implement priority queue for sure. So let's now jump onto the coding part and see how we can implement it. So I have opened my IDE and I've already uh, actually typed down some lines of codes. So these are the functions we'll be using insert and get a highest priority and delete highest priority. So let's start with uh, creating the node. We will be implementing here with the linked list. So let's create the node first. So the node structure will be struct node. Uh, so first there will be a data field of the link list then there will be a priority field and lastly we'll have a next pointer so struct node star next so here in the main function before operating these operations or the functions we'll first create a node okay so struct node star let's say this is the head node we will use a function here for creating every node that is new node and here I will pass two values one first is the data and then the corresponding priority. So I'll first define this function new node. So let me just copy it and here first the return type here will be struct node star. This is the function name. The arguments will be int d the data value and int p the priority incorporated. So here what I'm going to first do is that. I'll be creating a node first. So struct uh, node star, let's name it temp. Now I will first uh, allocate the memory for it. So the way you do with the malloc, that's what I'm going to do. So struct node star malloc, okay. Malloc then size of struct node and semicolon so the node is created now let's assign the values temp data will be d then temp 
priority i guess it's coming right wait temp priority will be p and lastly temp next will be null and i will simply okay will simply return the temp so this function is complete oh sorry this will be inside the function obviously here okay so now we have created the nodes and now i will operate these insert functions now the arguments here will be i'll pass the head node then i'll pass the data value let's say 9 and then the cooperated uh, priority so like that i'll first do it here so head let's say 8 let's say 3 again head let's say 5 let's say 0 so let me just define this insert function so the return type will be void these will be int d and int p again same and this will be struct node star star h so here what we need to first do is that we'll have to first create the node so struct node star temp is equal to we'll use this new node function and we'll pass this dnp value so the node is created here now we'll just have to insert it now the rule that we will be following here is just like this so if the situation is like okay if the situation is like if okay we also have to do one thing more that is we may have to traverse the list so i'll take a demo node here and i'll give the value of this head node so first i'll check if demo priority this is greater than the given priority then temp next will be the demo and demo and sorry actually the h will be this temp node okay now else in the else part we'll first run a loop so this will be like while demo next not is equal to null and demo next pr is greater uh, sorry is less than p here i will traverse the list so this will be demo is equal to demo next now after done getting done with the traversal what we will do is simply the next field of the temp or newly made node will be assigned with this value okay this will be demo next and lastly this will be done so this is the insert function now let us uh, define this get highest p here the argument will be in the head and also we'll do here we'll actually take this variable here we want to get the data value of the highest priority so that we can delete the highest priority and the arguments for this will be head and this i so i'll first define guest highest priority so get copy it uh, the return type will be int 
here this will be struct node star star h firstly we will check for the uh, node validity like if even there is a linked list or not so I'll print that the priority queue is empty and I'll return int min now if this is not the case then here yeah again okay in the else part what we can do we can first take an integer that will be max now this max will be given a value for that we'll first take a demo node or like temp node to traverse it so temp this will be star h so i'll first assign the value of this max with the demo okay sorry this is temp data i'll take another variable that will be the priority so p is equal to will be demo so again sorry sorry this will be temp pr okay so now we will traverse it so while demo not equal to null what we'll simply do if okay uh, so what we can do actually first of all this is will be temp and this actually can be given as h okay h next i guess wait let me just rewrite it again or retype it again star h this will be i guess yes just like this here this will be h and here again this will be h so and what i should do is that let me just cut it and get a rid of this line and yeah so now if i can see that the temp wait temp priority is greater than that of the max then i'll simply do what max will be temp data and p will be temp priority okay otherwise simply traverse it temp next right and we'll have to return something so here we will return data okay this will be inside the else actually so return what should we return this max and also we should print some message that says that the data with highest priority is percentage d and the priority is percentage d new line okay. the data is max and the priority is p and we have returned the max 
okay so this is the get highest p right now we will define the last function that is the delete highest p okay so in this uh, program what we are doing is that we are inserting the nodes in such a way so that the head node has the least priority and the last node of the linked list has the highest priority that's very prominent here so we'll keep this thing in mind and then we will operate this delete highest p function i'll show you how first the arguments will be struct node star star h and let's say this is d so again first we'll have to check for the empty condition so let me just copy this down okay one thing wait okay this will be actually star h yeah now this is fine so here uh, again this change will be there this will be star h so if this is not empty what we'll do I'll first create this demo node here which will be this and I'll simply traverse it to the end so while demo next not equal to null demo will be demo next and here uh, before actually deallocating the memory I want to store the data and the priority of the deleted value so the D will be demo data and P will be demo PR lastly I'll free this demo and I'll print down this message the deleted data is percentage D and corresponding priority is percentage D uh, and a new line and the arguments will be D and P right so so uh, this should be the whole code so now let's save it and run it so the result is here the as priority is 3 and the corresponding data is 7 that is what we had taken like the priorities were 0 1 2 3 so the priority is 3 and the data is 7 and as we wanted to delete the data with the highest priority the exact thing is being done here so this was how you could do the implementation of priority queue using linked list Thank you for watching this video and staying with us. See you next time.